It's got to be about five years now. I, I went over to a place called Sun Something Centre over in Bethnal Green and a lady asked me if um, I'd be interested in helping with a project. And I said, yeah, I'll certainly contemplate it. The way I take it is a little society that is evolved around woodwork, not just woodwork, right? You know, if you want to come and socialise, you want biscuits, coffee, chat. If you want to make something, like I do, you just crack on with it. I feel a bit more relaxed with myself when I come to the men's sheds, making tables, chairs, whatever. It's allowed me to start a hobby that's been latent in me for a number of years. It takes an effort sometimes, but not something I don't forget about it. I'm laughing. I've got three days a week where I'm not sitting indoors looking at the four walls. Boredom. I'm never lonely, I'm bored. I have to alleviate boredom, because with boredom comes alcohol. When I was five years alcohol dependent. I was always drunk. Uh, then sort of being so past drunk, you're sober again. I was diagnosed with stage 3 Hoskins lymphoma in 2009 and I was put on an experimental chemotherapy trial in amongst a group of 12 and I was the only one who survived. I went from 77 kilo to 51, uh, lost all my hair, I lost 22 teeth in 5 days. They wasn't good teeth anyway, that was mine. It smashed all the nerve endings in my hand and feet, which I'm now registered 70% disabled. Yeah, I was in a really sorry, bad place. Like, couldn't get no lower. When my wife walked out with my daughter, I had an emotional breakdown. So I, I live in quiet isolation, in a way. I know that vulnerability is there. I don't, I don't like the isolation. Yeah. Uh, you're going through all this crap and you're trying to find a way through it. I thought to myself, I need to talk to somebody. I need to get somebody's feelings of understanding of what's taken place out of my system. We're sitting in the bar having a drink. I said, like the look of this girl. And I thought to myself, no way she's going to talk to me. No way in this world is she going to talk to me. I think it was about three or four months we decided to get engaged. And um, that was that. I miss my wife very much indeed because there's a big gap there which can't be filled, never can be filled. Yeah, I, I had to do something. That, there and then, I had to do something. My Macmillan prescribing officer, amazing lady. She was trying to get me an activity that would get me out of the house and keep me off the booze. And bloody hell, the first place she phoned, he picked the phone up. There are a number of men who are living alone. I'm not saying they're lonely, I'm just saying they're isolated. I see Ray and Steve as type of counsellors as well. I can ask this man anything. Always listens. Always listens. Men generally don't divulge their, their inner feelings too well. Whereas something might slip out if you're having a chat with a mate that you're working shoulder to shoulder on a job with. It's just the projects, the interaction, the banter. It's breaking out of four walls, metaphorically speaking. But me coming here is the 
best therapy without a doubt. It is a community, yeah. People come because they want to come, not because they've been told to come. It's, it's my little family. A camaraderie of a generation, let's say. I'd be lost without the mentioned. Yeah, I honestly, nothing has ever happened to me. Nobody has ever left here with a sad look on their face, so that just tells me it's working. If I look out that window now, I can see probably 20 properties. I bet there's a man sat in at least one of those, just wondering what to do with himself for the next hour.